What's happening? What's happening? This is Rickman right here. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing great. I got an interesting topic to give you guys right here. Yo, if you guys have not seen Denzel Washington and Training Day, the movie, bro, you guys are truly missing out. Denzel Washington played a corrupted cop named Alfonso Harris. He was a good character that represented Rafael Perez. If you guys have not or never heard of Rafael Perez, he was an actual corrupted cop. You know, Alfonso Harris was also based on, you know, Rafael. You know, because at that time, Rafael was, he was corrupted to the core. Like, he was like a gangster, but like in a cop uniform. You know what I'm saying? And plus, you know, like how Rafael had his own team, the crash unit, that, you know, he would like interrogate other people to do his dirty work you know like let the street do its thing you know have the street turn on the one side and have the other side turn on them you know that way they can handle their problems among themselves instead of him doing the work you know the regular police justice you know and yeah bro and in the movie Alfonso Washington's character had his own team as well that would also interrogate criminals into doing bad things among themselves. He would take the drugs from people and have other people use it. You know, just like, like I said. I also can't forget about Officer Tenpenny and GTA San Andreas. He will always interrogate CJ. If he wouldn't interrogate CJ, he would have been, you know... He probably would have, you know, did some bad things, had some bad things happen to, to his brother Sweet, you know. He'll always inter interrogate CJ into doing his dirty work. Plus, he was working with drug dealers until pushing more drugs onto the streets of Los Santos. Tim Penny also had his team, but his team was smaller than Alfonso's. Plus... Tenpenny will always smoke the drugs that he will be using. He has no remorse whatsoever. Samuel Jackson did a phenomenal job playing as a dirty cop like Rafael Perez. These were like gangsters disguised as cops, but worse in the dangerous and scariest way. So like, yeah, bro, if you guys have not seen... The movie Training Day, bro, that movie's freaking awesome, bro. Like, that movie, I think, came out, I think, in 2000 or 2001, I believe. Around there. It came out somewhere in the, in the 2000s. Bro, that was just crazy, bro, on how, like, Alfonso would, like, manipulate, would try to manipulate his partner. You know, he's fresh. Like, he's a rookie. You know what I mean? Like, he, he thinks that, that, um... Alfonso's legit, you know, he thinks Alfonso's legit, he's running a good, um, that he's a good cop, you know, and I'm saying that he does things by the law, that he does things by the book, you know, he follows the rules and everything, but once he meets him, yo, it's a whole different thing, you know what I mean, like, he's, he's crazy, bro, Alfonso is crazy, bro, like, um, <laughs> Basically, what he was trying to tell him is like, you know, you got to watch out with these streets. You know, if not, the streets is going to eat you up. You know what I'm saying? And he was over here trying to explain to him, does he know how to speak Spanish? If not, he's going to have to learn that he could speak with the, you know, with the Spanish gangsters and all that. And already, already his partner's already noticing red flags, bro. There was a scene in the movie where they... They saw this group of, I think they were like college kids, I believe, bro. I had to see the movie again. They were like college kids, and they were dealing with um, drugs, right? I think they had like crack or weed around them, right? So, when he was dealing with that, and they took it from them, right? They were like threatening, the, the Alfonso was threatening the college kids, saying, Oh, you know, if... If I ever catch you guys around this block here again, 
I'm gonna take your girl and I'm gonna put them, you know, for the street street and have like my gangsters, my team, you know, tag team on her, bro. I was just like, what the fudge? He was like, so do you want that? And yo, here's he's already scaring the college kids. So they're like already saying, no, no, thank you, bro. We don't want no part of that. So then he lets them go. So then him and his partner are in the car. This man, right, was like, here, bro. You got to use the drug right here, bro. And then his partner is always saying, you know, he's saying like, no, 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 no. No, thank you, bro. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't need that, bro. I don't use that, bro. I'm clean. I'm legit. We're on duty, bro. We can't be doing that. He's like, well, you, well, you're working with me, so you're gonna have to, bro. So he's really trying to manipulate him into using, you know, smoking the pipe. And as he's doing that, he's over here threatening with a gun. He was like, this, you know what? If you don't want to smoke this, then I'm just gonna have to shoot you. Like he literally aims his gun at his own partner, bro. Quote unquote. And his brother was just his partner was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Give me. So this man actually yo, this man really manipulated him into really smoking that pipe, bro. And he actually does, bro. Like that's crazy, bro. Like, bro, imagine that, bro. Imagine him in his shoes, bro. If it was me, bro, I would have left, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I ain't dealing with that, bro. I ain't using that, bro. Basically, Alfonso and his um his his code is, is is basically let the people in the street do their thing to themselves. All right, while we we just watch back and chill and see what just happens, you know, the aftermath. And it was just like, dang, this is how Rafael did it. Rafael Perez in his day, bro, freaking amazing, bro. You guys gotta watch out, watch watch out, <laughs> watch that movie. And another thing, you know, with, with Ten Penny, bro, basically the same thing, bro. He interrogated CJ into doing his dirty work for him. You know, him and Pulaski. Well, he was using Pulaski. You already know. If you played the game in San Andreas, you already know what happened to Pulaski. But Ten Penny, bro, you know, he would just use drug dealers into pushing um, more drugs into the street. That way he can make money, you know, dirty money. And just watch it all unfold, you know what I'm saying? And just covering evidence and all that. Yo, I'll put some ten penny or something else, bro. That's like literally like one of my favorite roles that Samuel Jackson played. You know what I'm saying? I think he was awesome when he played as um Ten Penny. He he did nice, he did alright. Yeah, bro, like imagine Imagine you being a victim, bro. Like, we as victims, right? We over here like, dang, bro. How come this cop is wearing a badge, bro? He's over here telling us to do these things to, you know, to other people and all that, bro. And we got to pay him to do it, bro. We got to pay him to do it like that. Yeah, bro. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. We got to watch out, bro. I mean, I, I know I know they ain't no no strong corrupted cops like that, bro. Cause yeah, you know, these are part these police departments, bro. They they go down and dirty, bro. The moment they see something fishy, bro, they're gonna get you, bro. They're gonna get you one way or another, bro. Maybe not now at the specific moment, but they're gonna get you, bro. You know, that's crazy, bro. A lot went down at that time, bro. When he was. You know, with his unit and all that. Crazy, bro. But anyway, that's what I got to say, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What about you guys? Did you like Officer Ten Penny? Did you like the, if you've seen the movie, Alfonso Harris? Did you think those characters were true to Rafael Perez? Perez, right? Badass. Something like that. To Rafael. Officer Rafael. The corrupted cop. You think they were true to him? Like... Basically, those characters were inspired by him, you know, true events. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Share this video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon. It's Rickma signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace. Take care, y'all. Take care. Enjoy.